Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Congratulations to you and the leadership, and I look forward to serving uh, in this circle in a productive session. Uh, I'd like to uh, say a few things about family and the American dream. Uh, Thirty-one years ago, my wife and I opened a small business in East Lyme. Uh, we worked hard and uh, raised our family, and while God had other plans for my wife, my children are with me today, and I'd like to introduce my daughter Hannah, my daughter Allie, my daughter Olivia, and my son Matthew. I'm also fortunate to have my brothers, Robert and Mike, up in the gallery, and his, uh, Michael's uh, better half, Rebecca, standing up there with the camera, and my favorite nephew, Paul McCarthy, uh, up there joining me. Uh, we have had a great time as first selectmen of the town of East Lyme, working with local municipal leaders like Senator Austin, and I'd like to recognize Dan Stewart from Waterford, who is up there, uh, who is a partner uh, in Southeastern Connecticut's Council of Governments, and I thank you for that. Uh, also, many campaign volunteers uh, from the 20th District that are here today, uh, Ned and Irving, uh, Justin, and uh, my friend Ed Morris is here today, who is a, I don't know where Ed went, but Ed is celebrating over 50 years in political service for the state of Connecticut, so he wanted to come up and join this, and then Jess O'Connor, uh, who worked with us, so I'd like to recognize. And finally, Rita Palazzo, who and her husband Joe have been volunteers for the town of East Lyme and are sharing in this uh, special day. So I am most grateful to be here. I look forward to working with each and every one of you, and it's my great pleasure also to see Senator Maynard here, who's my good friend from southeastern Connecticut, and I welcome you. So thank you all, and I look forward to a very productive session. Thank you, sir.